Most builds honestly don't need more than a decent 600 watt unit. Similarly, most users don't need to overspend on their motherboards, especially for gaming builds. For AMD users at least, B550 is a great, cheaper alternative to X570 with the same overclocking features. For the best 120mm fan on the market, you just can't beat the Noctua NFA 12x25. In all of my testing, this consistently comes out as having both the quietest motor and airflow operation, but do consider the Arctic P12 as a much cheaper alternative which do come pretty close. Now, now when it comes to air versus liquid cooling, the best air coolers on the market typically have performance about equal to a decent 240ml liquid cooler, but noise at idle is typically lower in most cases due to not having to use a pump. Liquid cooling though is still the best when it comes to achieving maximum cooling. If you are building with one of those large tower coolers though, I'd highly recommend installing that after you've plugged in all of your motherboard cables, otherwise they're pretty much impossible to access. Now if your build uses a motherboard and GPU that have both PCIe Gen 4 which is all current gen parts, avoid using a case that has a PCIe Gen 3 riser cable. For improving cable management and aesthetics, consider upgrading your power supply cables to a set from Cable Mod. Their mod mesh cable kits are epic in quality and are great if you're looking for that final touch for your PC build to stand out. A very important note though is to not mix and match the cables between power supply models, even from the same brand. The pinouts are often different, which can lead to you damaging your components. 